heart of this case is whether almost $1 million of payments made to benefit Edwards by uh, essentially allowing that Rial Hunter, his mistress, would be cared for, um, should be considered a personal gift to Edwards or whether it should be considered a campaign contribution to his presidential campaign in 2008. They have to prove most basically that it was a contribution. And here there's no allegation, as far as I'm aware, that Edwards personally physically received the checks. So instead, the government will have to show that the, uh, I think it was Ms. Mellon, for instance, one of his benefactors, uh, coordinated her expenditures with Edwards. That means, first, uh, it had to be an expenditure under the law, which means that it had to be for the purpose of influencing an election for federal office. Secondly, they have to show that the expenditure was coordinated with Edwards. It wasn't completely done without his knowledge or cooperation. Uh, so these two elements they have to show in order to prove that his campaign took this uh, contribution in violation of federal law. And I should point out that more specifically the problem is that under federal law, a campaign can only accept very limited contributions of um, under $3,000. And here we're talking about sums of, you know, I think it was almost over 700000 just from Ms. Mellon alone. Uh, so that was one problem that is alleged. The second problem is, of course, that the Edwards campaign did not reveal or disclose, as they were required to under the law, these payments. Alleg you know, no doubt because they want to keep this entire uh, affair secret, but nonetheless, there's two uh, big violations, potential violations of campaign finance law. Well, I think that this is going to be, as, as I said, a tough job for the government. Um, you know, a lot of legal commentators have said that uh, this is a distortion of campaign finance law or there's something uh, questionable about the actual legal theory. I don't think the legal theory is questionable. You know, it's fairly well established that a coordinated expenditure with a campaign constitutes a contribution under federal campaign finance law. However, the difficulty here is going to be uh, compiling the type of evidence necessary to prove uh, that this type of payment was indeed for campaign purposes 